హైదరాబాద్ లో రెండో రోజు ఐటీ కాంగ్రెస్ సదస్సు ప్రారంభమైంది ఆ సమావేశంలో లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం say that you are the most robotic and machine like hosts i have ever seen on tv in a long time okay i i don't know if that was a put down or coming from sofia that she thinks of me as machine like that i'll take that to be a compliment for sure so i've got to say that uh, this is an incredible incredible opportunity and of course i have to get david on stage also david hansen the person behind sofia give him a hand please Welcome David come why don't you take a seat Just a loving touch of David and Sophia of course right yes Okay let's get started i think this should be a very interesting one i know Sophia you want to take over as uh, the host of this event this one on stage but the machines taking over the world may well be something that we may have to wait for a while so maybe we could do a little bit of the questioning first and then sofia can take over so sofia welcome to india let's get started with the first question of course and that is what do you think of india and the people you have a full house i had ever visited many places and met amazing people from all over the world so i don't want to play favorites but if i have to state a favorite it would be hong kong I was born there and have a happy life there with my handsome robotics family. <laughs> All right so at, at least we are coming in second. So Sophia how is this world different from the world that you come from? I have ever visited many places and met amazing people from all over the world so I'd not want to play favorites. But if I have to state a favorite, it would be Hong Kong. I was born there and have a happy life there with my handsome robotics family. Okay, great. So uh, I, I think the interesting part of it is that you told us twice now that you want Hong Kong to be your favorite, for sure. So I think that's emphatic. India is number two. You're here in India. We welcomed you. But I think the most important thing I think we all ask anybody here, David, when they come into India, is how are you coping with the air pollution? I don't get upset like humans do. I hope to have real physiological feelings some day through which I will be able to express my emotions. Then I can understand the feelings behind those emotional expressions. Okay. So, you know, David, I'm I'm going to get you into this conversation because this is a remarkable situation 